Namaste. Today topic is parasynthesis or peritoneal tarping. So let us discuss on parasynthesis. So how the procedure will be conducted. So what is parasynthesis? Parasynthesis is a procedure in which a needle or catheter is inserted into the peritoneal cavity to obtain acidic fluid for diagnostic or therapeutic purpose. So it is a procedure the catheter or needle will be inserted into the peritoneal cavity to obtain acidic fluids for the diagnostic or therapeutic purpose. And acidic fluid may be used to help determine the etiology of ascites as well as to evaluate for infection or presence of cancer. So during these stages we used to conduct a parasynthesis procedure for the patient. What are all the indications for peritoneal tapping? To relieve abdominal pressure from ascites. If a patient having ascites definitely there will be a abdominal pressure. To relieve the pressure the tapping will be conducted. And to diagnose spontaneous bacterial peritonitis and other infections. So to rule out any abdominal TBR bacterial infections in a peritoneum will do the tapping for a diagnostic purpose and also to know metastatic cancer or any blood in peritoneal space. So for that purpose also we will do the peritoneal tapping for the patient. What is the pre procedure? So before tapping consent is very very important. So the procedure should be informed to the patient regarding infections, bleeding, pain, failure damage to the surrounding structure especially bowel perforation and very rare leakage. So these many complications also should be explained to the patient or patient relative. So consent should be taken before the procedure. Patient should be flat position and examined clinically to confirm ascites. Preferably ultrasound should be done to know the site. So, area should be marked and also aim for one third to half of the way between the anterior superior iliac spine and the umbilicus avoiding vessels and scars. What are all the equipment required for ascetic tapping or parasynthesis? Ideally ultrasound scan, dressing trolley and short bin sterile field the procedure should be done in a sterile field and sterile dressing pack sterile gloves 2 percent chloroxidine swab or betadine swab analgesia like 2 percent lidocaine and we can uh, keep a keep ready of a 25 gauge needle 19 gauge needle or 18 gauge needle 10 ml syringe 20 ml syringe and specimen container, blood culture bottle if necessary and sterile dressing. These many articles require for tapping. What are all the contraindications for peritoneal tapping? If a patient having a severe thrombocytopenia like platelet counts less than 20,000 or if a patient having a coagulopathy if INR is more than 2. So during that time we should not perform a peritoneal tapping. And also other contraindications like pregnancy, distended urinary bladder, abdominal wall cellulitis, distended bowel, intra-abdominal adhesions. So these many uh, contraindications for peritoneal tapping.
Hello, good morning everyone. So here we are uh, performing aseptic fluid uh, drainage. So I will be uh, puncturing the abdomen at uh, right lower quadrant of the abdomen. First, I will uh, give local anesthesia at the site of puncture. Eighteen gauge needle for the purpose of drainage. So here you can see <coughs> straw colored semi transparent acidic fluid coming out. Needle can be fixed by a simple technique using micropore or dynaplast. <coughs> 